Why do I always look like a slob and you always look nice? Uh, because I take a little bit of time and care. Well, we're painting today. <laughs> That's why I look like this. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Furniture Flip. Today, we're making over this old 80s coffee table, and we're giving it a really cool coastal kind of beachy look. Hey, do you want to tell everybody what we found on the bottom of this coffee table? Oh, my table? gosh. This is so cool. So every time a piece of furniture is manufactured, they usually stamp it with the manufacturing date. My birthday is August 22nd, and this piece of furniture was stamped August 22nd, 1985. Yeah, but 85... Well, I was 15 then. <laughs> God, the 80s were kind of ugly, weren't they? But we're going to change all that, and we're going to transform this and flip this piece of furniture to something really cool. The first step in our makeover is that we're going to paint the base of the coffee table using Folk Art Home Decor Chalk. That'll give it a really neutral look for our killer top we're going to make. And then we're going to use these boards and turn them into a faux shiplap look using our milk paints, all different colors, doing some layering, and a cool technique using petroleum, jelly, and our scrapers to weather them down to give it that old beachy coastal look like these boards came from a barn, or a, a boat. boat, whatever, yeah. Whatever you want, yeah. So cool. Are you ready to flip this? Let's flip it. Hi, I'm Kathy, and that's Steve. And together, we like to flip furniture. I'm painting the base of the coffee table with white Adirondack Folk Art Chalk. I'm using three coats with dry time in between. For the topper, I'm cutting one by four pieces of wood into random lengths. Next, I laid out my design. I'm using Folk Art Milk Paint for the topper boards. To base coat, I'll be painting half with Covered Bridge and half with Milky White. To create a distressed look with petroleum jelly, you will want to apply the petroleum jelly in random places and along the edges. I'm applying six different colors of milk paint over the base coat and petroleum jelly. All my colors have a beach feel. Once dry, use the scraper tool to distress the areas where the petroleum jelly was applied. Gently scrape away at the paint to reveal the base color. Then lightly sand. I'm using the same scraper to add a little distressed edge to the base. Next, I'm sealing the chalk finish with clear wax. This will protect it. I'm attaching the boards to the top of the coffee table with liquid nails. I'm sealing the topper with Mod Podge spray in matte. Nice tie. Well, thank you very much. I don't want to look like a slob anymore. Well, I think you look great, just like our coffee table makeover. And if you want to learn more about the coffee table makeover, go to plaidonline.com and see all the materials that we used. And if you want to see more Furniture Flip, be sure to subscribe to this channel, give us a thumbs up, and leave any questions and comments, and we're happy to get back to you. 
We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. I think maybe you should take me out to dinner now that you're looking so spiffy. Yeah, right. <laughs>